wanders through the tranquil Tuscan countryside, this train might look a little bit out of place. But there is a very good reason why it's undergoing extensive tests here. Because not only is it new and extremely fast, it also has a very special extra feature. You don't notice it on the straight and narrow, but on the curving tracks in Tuscany, it soon shows up. This is Il Pendolino, or the train that tilts, which the Italians are hoping will be more successful than the British APT, or Advanced Passenger Train. As with the APT, the idea of this train is to get it going fast around the bends and also to give a smoother, more comfortable ride. And the effect as it banks into each of the bends is a little bit like being on a super comfortable roller coaster. It's really quite exciting. But if we switch the mechanism off for a moment, taking a bend at this sort of speed could be quite disastrous. See what I mean? Britain's APT was withdrawn from brief service after a series of technical problems. It used a system of airbags for suspension, which could be inflated to tilt the carriages into a bend. Although it was complicated, it wasn't so much the concept of the APT that was faulty, but the fact that it didn't stand up to the rigours of everyday use. The Italians are hoping the simpler Pendolino system will prove more robust. Si può fermare, per favore. Grazie. The Italian system relies on the fact that as the railway lines curve round a bend, the outside track is laid slightly higher than the inside. All track is always laid like that in what's known as super elevation. Now, Il Pendolino doesn't use airbags to detect when it's going round a curve. Instead, it uses a gyroscope. which is mounted up under the front of the train there. As the train goes off level, the gyroscope stays upright. The computer on board measures how much tilt there is. But it doesn't immediately assume that the train is going round a bend because it gathers further information from an accelerometer down there, which measures centrifugal forces pushing sideways. It combines the information from the two and decides whether the train really is going into a bend and how much tilt is needed to compensate. Right, well, coming up ahead is a stretch of track with more bends in it than a plate of spaghetti. Let's see if the computer can cope. Each carriage is tilted using powerful hydraulic cylinders. The computer ensures that they tilt in the right sequence and to just the right amount. The degree of tilt is quite critical. If there's too much, then the passengers could begin to suffer from motion sickness. So the designers have restricted the amount of tilt to make sure that there is still some feeling of centrifugal force, but um, not enough to spoil a nice, quiet drink. The engineers estimate that by tilting, the Pendolino can travel up to 30% faster along curving track. There's already interest in the system from four European railways. It may even influence British Rail's thoughts about reintroducing tilting onto their high-speed trains in the 1990s.